Hey folks, thanks for tuning back into the Colonial RV YouTube channel. Joe Welch is here and we are back with another Service Tech Tip video. As most of you know, Colonial RV is one of the biggest Winnebago Class B camper van dealers in the US. We often get asked a question like, can this camper van tow a car? Can it tow a boat? And to answer that question, we first need to determine the weight of the item that you want to tow. Most boats would be easily towable by a camper van, but small cars and SUVs are more so towable depending on their weight. So are you ready? Let's go. One of the reasons I love Winnebago so much is that when I was a young boy, I felt so lucky to have a motorhome in the family. It felt even better when my dad was able to attach his boat to it, take it down to the Raritan, and we could spend weekends out on the river. To understand the towing capacity of your camper van so you can do the same if you'd like to, we just need to understand some of your RV weight measurements. We need to understand the occupant and cargo carrying capacity, or the payload, and we need to be aware of the gross vehicle weight rating and the gross combined weight rating. First, let's talk about your occupant and cargo carrying capacity, or your OCC. This is the total weight of all cargo inside the RV, including all of your gear, you, your freshwater tanks if they're full, and this will vary based on your RV's options. You'll find the exact payload of your camper van by looking at the side sticker on your passenger side or on the driver's side door gap, depending on your model. Now we have the gross vehicle weight rating, or the GVWR. This is the unloaded vehicle weight rating, plus the payload. This is the total weight that your camper van can safely handle, including all occupants, cargo, and any added options. The gross combined weight rating, or the GCWR, is the absolute maximum weight that your camper van, including any trailer or vehicle towed behind it. The GCWR is the sum of the GVWR, the OCC, and any tow vehicles. To determine the towing capacity of your camper van, you'll need to subtract the RV's GVWR from the GCWR. This will give you the maximum weight that you can safely tow behind your camper van. For example, let's say the GCWR of your camper van is 12,000 pounds and the GVWR is 8,550. This means that your camper van can safely tow 3,450 pounds because 12,000 minus the 8,550 leaves you with that 3,450. It's important to keep in mind that these weight measurements can vary from model to model and even from year to year. Always refer to the specifications for your specific camper van to ensure that you are towing within the safe limits. Now let's take a look at the tow capacity of some specific Winnebago camper vans. The Winnebago Solace is built on the Ram Promaster chassis and it has a factory installed 3,500 pound tow package. However, if the Solace is fully loaded, the GCWR is limited to 12,000 pounds, so your trailer or towed vehicle should not exceed 3,450. The Pocket has 3,100 pounds as a capacity and the 59P has 2,650. The Winnebago Travato is also built on the Ram Promaster chassis. It has a factory installed 3,500 pound tow package. However, if that Travato is fully loaded, the GCWR is limited to 12,000 pounds, so your trailer or towed vehicle should not exceed 2,650. The Winnebago Rebel is built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter diesel chassis and it has a factory installed tow package of 5,000 pounds. However, if the Rebel is fully loaded, that GCWR is limited to 13,550 pounds. So your trailer or your towed vehicle should not exceed 4,500. The Winnebago Era and the Winnebago Bolt are also built on Mercedes-Benz Sprinter diesel chassis, and they have similar tow capacities. Next, let's touch on Class C motorhomes, like this Navion behind me, an extremely popular model that folks actually use to tow. This Navion is built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis and has a 5,000 pound tow capacity and a 500 pound ton capacity in the rear. The GCWR is limited to 15,250 pounds, so your trailer or towed vehicle should not exceed 4,220. In addition to tow capacity, your tongue weight capacity is also very important. It may be printed on the rear receiver. It may also be referred to as your maximum vertical load in the front. Although you may find a trailer that is within your tow capacity, it may be too heavy on the tongue for your vehicle. So it is important to find out this number. To determine if your camper van can tow a car, a boat, or a small trailer, all you need to do is understand the weight measurements of your RV and check the tow capacity of your specific model. If you have any questions or you're unsure, reach out to us here at Colonial and we'll be happy to help you figure it out. I hope these tips have been helpful. Remember to always prioritize safety when towing and if you have any doubts or any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Before we end this video, we would really appreciate everyone hitting that like button and subscribing if they haven't already. And if you found this video helpful or you have any questions, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialrv.com. Our phone number is 800-265-9019. My name is Joe Welches, and I hope to see you all again in the next Colonial Service Tech Tip video.